Hi guys, Lance from Big Show Mobile Entertainment here. Welcome back. If you've already seen the first two parts of this video, you know that this is a little series designed for down and dirty with the Denon HD 2500. And now we're going to take a look at the music manager software necessary to make this piece of hardware work. Here we have the product page on the Denon DJ website for the 2500. If we come down to the firmware tab, click on it, right here you'll see that there's a download the latest Denon DJ Music Manager. It's version 1.3.3. Now I already did that earlier, so we'll go ahead and open it up. Here and on the help tab, if you click that you can find the version information. So here we have version 1.3.3. I just installed the software off the CD that came with the last 2500 I bought. And it was already, there's already a new version out, so I recommend everybody get the new version. Okay. Once you have the music on your 2500 or external hard drive, you need to create a database to be able to use it with the 2500. And this is easy enough to do. Normally this would all be blank because you haven't added anything yet. You simply come up here to Database, click Create, and then it'll ask you if you want to register all the music files on the drive. Well, we certainly do, so you would click yes. And then it asks if you want to keep all existing playlist information. You may or may not get that pop-up screen because I don't know if you have playlists. Uh, I'm going to cancel and exit out of this because I don't want to go through the 10 or 15 minutes it takes to do that. But basically what that will do is that will register all the mu all the compatible music on your drive. Now the Denon HD 2500 only plays MP3 and WAV files. Now at times you may get an error report. Uh, this can range from items where the album art is too large, uh, zero, zero size frame found, a number of different errors. Many of these errors, those are tracks that have not been imported into the database. Many of these errors can be fixed simply by using an external MP3 tag editor. I use MP3 tag to fix those errors so that then the Denon Music Manager software will recognize those files and add them to your database. Once you get the files added to the database, created the database on the hard drive that you're working on you can now play those files with the DN HD 2500 and life as you know it if this is the first time with the 2500 is about to get really good for you in the next video we're going to take a look at some of the basic features of the 2500 I'm going to hook it up to the mixer and get some sound going so you can see what the different buttons do we'll show how to adjust some of the parameters for using the 2500 and we'll continue to get down and dirty with this great piece of hardware. Till then, practice and enjoy.